I'm gonna try and record, but I feel like I might have. Oh my god! <laughs> I've literally got three batteries, and I'm just sat down to record. Why are all three batteries dead? Hmm. Michaela. Well, and I've got a missing earring. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Um, welcome back. And if you're new, which you probably are, because I don't have many subscribers, welcome to my channel. My name's Michaela. My nipples feel very hard. <laughs> I just brushed over them. Welcome to my haul. Spring has nearly sprung. <laughs> and I'm now just incredibly excited for it and summer. So I thought, oh, I'm just going to few things uh asos vintage pull and bear they're the places that i have acquired these clothes some of them are going back because i'm not gonna lie i have tried them on already because i was a bit excited but yeah some of them are going back but a lot of them i'm keeping so let's get on with it so the first thing which i might actually bloody put on because it feels so cold in here is this jumper it is the nicest little cropped, but not too cropped, knit jumper. Uh, I'll do little inserts, I think. Thick, not too thick. The sleeves are so big and so wide and they're beautiful. It's for tall people. I didn't realise when I bought it. I'm not that tall and my torso's not that long. <laughs> so maybe if you are tall, it would be a bit more cropped. The buttons are really lovely as well. You get a spare one. Which you don't always get nowadays, do you, spare buttons? The next thing I got was a little crochet moment. Obsessed with this colour, first of all. Love it with this, like, gingery brown hair. This is just like a tie-up crochet top. It is just so pretty. And it's really soft, actually. Again, the sleeves are wider. I've just realised with that, a pair of jeans and this. I've gone very flared. I think it's so pretty. It's like nothing I've got in my wardrobe with a little bralette underneath. I think would be really nice. Won't be wearing that for a hot minute though. But I am keeping that because I really like it. Then we got this top which when I bought it I was like you're either going to be beautiful or you're going back. <laughs> and to be fair it is beautiful. It's so pretty. As you can tell I love and I'm really into warm neutral tones i used to be very much a like bright colors but i'm just loving a more like delicate color palette <laughs> but this top again flared so it kind of feels a bit linen-y it's a hundred percent cotton so it does actually feel really nice beautiful do you know what i want to love this i want to love this because it is so pretty but the way it sits on me it's just too big the sleeves I know will be falling down constantly and if the sleeves fall down, it's, I just know I won't wear it. I won't wear it because I won't enjoy it. I won't feel comfortable. When I wear clothes, I like to feel like I have a free range of movement. I'm not, I can't do off the shoulder because I hate if I want to put my arms up. I'm not sure why I'd be doing that. <laughs> Help! <laughs> I don't want it to be constantly like popping up or coming down too much when you lean over tits come out just so this will be going back but if you have bigger boobs as well i think if you're just like a bit bigger than me this might look really beautiful on you because it is really nice it just doesn't fit properly so it will be going back again this top i'm like 50 50 i really like it the look when i tried it on although when i tried it on i had well, I still do have period boobs, so my boobs are way more like plumper at the top right now. So this top, not not neutral, I thought it would really look really cute with some pink trousers that I own, and I've got a pink skirt. So I thought, you know, summertime, summer vibes. This would look really cute, and I do really like it on, actually. But again, I don't know how it's going to look when my boobs get all deflated again when I'm not during my period. I mean, I think it literally cost me like seven quid and to be honest, I probably wouldn't pay more for it. The material is quite cheap feeling. I'm not sure what material is, probably like polyester. Yeah, polyester. And another thing that does bug me, because why do they add? I'm assuming they just added the like double layer here because it's a bit of a cow neck kind of top. But why could they not bring it down ever so slightly more? Like. Like literally maybe 
not even double that, but maybe double that, just so that your nipples weren't completely showing through. Like, I'm all for free the nip, but I also would like to decide when and where I free the nip. <laughs> and this top, you can just see your nipples because it's see-through. And I just think, come on, was it, would it be that hard to just extend it down a little bit longer so that it was double lined? Apparently so. You can adjust the side, the tie ups. It is really pretty though. So I probably will keep this. This, so the next thing I got, I was so excited to get. It looked beautiful on the model. And I read the reviews and they were like, fine. This was like 25-ish pounds down from 40 something. So with something like this, it's a crochet, again, <laughs> wide on the sleeves. God, I'm going for a theme, aren't I? Didn't even realize. What was I gonna say? Yeah, so I didn't see anyone talk about this, but honestly, I'm gonna put it on so that you can see it on. But the thought of putting it on literally makes me feel like, oh God, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Because it is so scratchy and rough. It's horrible. It's horrible to wear. <laughs> it's so pretty, but it's hot, like horrible to put on. I don't know how anyone could go a day an hour wearing this, maybe unless you put it over this or something. Also, what I noticed when I was doing up the buttons and I was thinking, am I just being stupid or is this button placed on wrong? And the buttons are placed on wrong. I'll show you as I'm, as I'm trying it on, but the, the button starts way lower than the loop start, like is sewn on. So if you actually put the buttons on correctly and do it all right, it looks like you've buttoned up the top wrong. And I think, especially if I paid £40 for this, mate, I'd be furious. I know that all of this has to be done by hand. So that's another reason why it's more expensive. But there goes my earring again. You're done. <laughs> You're done. One is so hard to unclip. The other one just keeps bloody falling out. I might have to get some pliers to just try and like squeeze the clasp tighter. Anyways, back to the top. This will be going back unfortunately because I literally couldn't think of anything worse than wearing this on my skin. The last thing I got, which I've never bought jeans from, how do you pronounce it? Naked. Naked. <laughs> naked. Naked. I am naked. <laughs> were these jeans from Naked, proper like denim jeans, really nice, like they're a really nice denim, but again with my sensitive skin. <laughs> but I also feel like maybe this would just irritate anyone. They're like too baggy on the crotch. They're supposed to be baggy jeans, so I get it. But I feel like if you're having like a baggy crotch, it needs to be really soft. And this part, like where the crotch is all sewn up together, it hangs too low. So I just know that when I'm going to be walking, it will rub on my thighs and will be really uncomfortable. And to be honest, I don't like them that much to do that to myself. I don't think I'd like anything that much to do it to myself. <laughs> and I just kind of feel like they don't really do anything for me. Although actually like a good quality jean, like they proper feel like jeans, not just like jegging jeans. Unfortunately, these will be being returned. So again, maybe if you're a bit bigger and you fill them out a bit more, it won't dangle so low. Yeah, and to be honest, I'm not, um, God, I feel like I'm moaning, but I'm just being honest. All the next things I think I'm keeping, apart from one thing. So I'm not a massive fan of this. I've just cut the jean off there. I. I almost feel like it's a bit lazy because they're not really distressed. I would rather it just be lined or actually look visibly like distressed on the bottom. Okay, so the next thing is from, I always go to say Bershka, Pull and Bear. I have been wearing these jeans nonstop. I have a very similar style of jeans from Bershka actually in a lighter wash. Again, flared. I'm obsessed with flared jeans and I don't know whether they're just like not in style. Am I just not very cool? Because I just can't really find them in shops that much. But I found these online on Pull and Bear and 
they looked really nice love them so soft so comfortable not going to be rubbing between my legs they don't they're not baggy love the color of the wash just make my bum look nice land really nice on the floor <laughs> not too long not too short love everything about them have a gray patch don't know why that stood out to me usually it's brown well not on their trousers i don't know i don't really buy pull and bear but i don't know why that just stood out to me but yeah they kind of feel like jeggings but look like jeans and they're the kind of jeans i like it's kind of like i like to feel like i'm not wearing anything <laughs> Uh, and I feel like that, so <laughs> with them. The next thing, got a pair of black flares, and these fit so nice. Really nice, very black. They're from ASOS, but I got them second hand, and I think they came to like £8 second hand, so I mean, you're saving your money, but they were so big around the waist. Fit great on the leg, but the waist? You could fit like two of me in there. Um, so unfortunately, I don't really know what to do with them. I feel like there are hacks out there to make your the waist a bit smaller. I guess I could go and get them re-jigged. Re I don't remember what it's called. Altered. <laughs> this is why I love buying second hand and I'll buy tops, dresses, things like that second hand. But jeans... I just feel like there's not much in it whether they fit nice or not so it's quite risky buying jeans second hand but they've never been worn which is probably why she probably had the same problem that I do <laughs> but yeah apart from that I actually really like them I just realized they got no back pockets didn't realize that before I always think it makes your bum look a bit weird and I wonder whether that makes your bum look better they've like stitched the jeans there right under the bum whether that makes your butt look better I guess we'll find out <laughs> yeah that was my summer spring summer haul I'm sure I might get a few more things I just want to get some things that I'm gonna enjoy for the long run something that's different a bit better quality not just like crappy plastic tops although that pink one that I'll be keeping is kind of like that but that's one out of all of them Unfortunately, it wasn't as successful as I thought it was going to be, but hey, we, we're sending a few bits back and we're saving some that coin. So, I hope you enjoyed that. It's been fun hanging out with you. I love doing things like this. It always makes me want to just do more shopping, though, uh, which is a bit dangerous because I just like showing people what I got. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, come join the family. I would appreciate it. Don't know why I'm going American. Anyways, don't know why I'm trying to long this out either. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.